हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी थ्योरी ऑफ सिंपल बेंडिंग व्हाट वी मीन बाय थ्योरी ऑफ सिंपल बेंडिंग सपोज वी हैव ए बीम लाइक दिस वी हैव ए बीम एंड वी हैव अप्लाइड ए बेंडिंग मोमेंट टू इट सपोज ड्यू टू सर्टेन लोड the bending moment is developed in the material right and suppose this is sagging bending moment this type of bending moment is sagging bending moment in this case this is a sagging bending moment in which upper layer is compressed upper layer is compressed and lower layer is in tension lower layer is in tension right so there is bending moment applied m and this is the pure bending pure bending means there is no shear stress in the material of the beam right so what is simple bending or pure bending simple bending or pure bending what we mean by this means that there is no shear force force in the length of the beam in the length of the beam that is called simple bending or pure bending that there is no shear stress or no shear force in the length of the beam in the entire length of the beam suppose l length is there there is no shear force there is only bending stresses are there so this is called theory of simple bending now is it possible that when we are applying the load there is no uh, shear stress or shear force in the length of the beam is it possible actually it is not possible uh, or it is possible in the certain part of the beam like suppose for example we have a overhang beam like this an overhang beam is there like this and we apply a load w here and same load w here when you uh, when you draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of this beam we have already discussed the shear force and bending moment diagram when you draw the shear force diagram what type of diagram you will get you will get suppose this is a beam and you will get this type of diagram this is the shear force like this this is negative and this is positive right there is suppose a b c and d a b c d right this is shear force diagram and what type of bending moment diagram you will get this type of bending moment diagram you will get like this right so this is negative bending moment diagram this is bending moment diagram right so <coughs> you can see here in this diagram the bending whenever there is shear force the bending moment cannot be same the bending moment cannot be same and the theory of simple bending said that the bending moment should be constant simple bending or pure bending means that there is no shear force in the length of the beam and there is constant bending moment there is constant bending moment on the beam right so here you can see here there is shear force in this beam and there is bending moment uh, changing for some length of the beam but in this part of the beam in this part of the beam b to c you can see here b to c between b to c shear force is zero shear force is zero and between b to c again between b to c the bending moment is uniform you can see here the uniform bending moment between b to c so it means that this theory is valid this theory is valid for this case between b to c right where 
the shear force is zero shear force is zero between b to c f b c equal to zero between b to c f b to f c and between m b c bending moment is constant so in this case in this case the theory of simple bending theory of simple bending is applicable applicable for length bc of the beam in this particular case in this particular case this is valid between b to c that this is uniform between b to c and this is zero between b to c right so this is valid between b to c for this particular case right but we have different type of beams like cantilever beam we have uh, simply supported beams where this condition may not prevail always when there is shear force uh, there will be bending moment but you can see here something something good is happening with with us so that we can use this simple of pure bending or uh, theory of pure bending for all the cases like uh, where we can use it you can see here when the shear force is zero the bending moment is maximum when the shear force is zero bending moment is maximum and we have to design the beam for maximum bending moment when the beam is weak in normal stresses the pictures come when the beam is weak in normal stresses and the points where the uh, shear stress is zero the bending moment will be maximum and we have to design for the maximum bending moment so you can see here what type of what type of stress we obtain what type of stress we obtain in case of uh, most of the cases like this is a beam and what type of stress we are getting you can see here the shear stresses the shear stresses you get is i am making it smaller so that i can draw the stresses suppose this is a circular beam or what type of beam it is in which if we are talking about pure bending but suppose this is there is no pure bending we have applied uh, some forces and uh, there is no pure bending is there right so what type of stresses may occur here you will see that you will get this type of stresses in this beam this is these are the normal stresses bending stresses like this which are maximum at the outer periphery right sigma b compressive sigma b tensile and these are the shear stresses and where there is maximum bending stress the shear stress will be minimum shear stress will be minimum and this is the curve for shear stresses you have you go to your shear stresses chapter and read that this is our shear stresses these are our shear stresses so fortunately fortunately these are shear stresses and shear stresses are maximum here tau max right and this is shear stress shear stress and these are bending stress so the point the point where there is maximum bending stress where there is chances of failure due, due to normal stresses the shear stress is zero so you can see at the outer periphery outer fibers between a to b and between c to d at outer fibers these fibers the bending moment is maximum and shear stress is zero and this is what we want this is what we want in the theory of simple bending that we want to apply the theory of simple bending we don't want to go in complications although we can apply that also but for the uh, btec point of view and gate point of view we have to use only theory of simple bending and in that case there should not be any shear stress but whenever there is bending stresses there will be shear stresses but fortunately the points the points where there is maximum bending moment or maximum stresses are there like outer fibers ab these outer fibers also associated with the zero shear stress 
and the theory of simple bending can be applied right so i am writing here at outer fibers of a beam the bending stresses bending stresses are maximum and shear stresses are zero so theory of simple bending theory of simple bending can be applied can be applied safely for outer fibers and where there is maximum normal stresses or bending stresses where there is chances of failure of the beam so you can see here that the maximum stresses will be there and if uh, we are applying the uh, sagging bending moment sagging bending moment this will be in compression this will come in compression and this will come in tension there will be extension of the beam right we will study later on so we can apply our theory at the outer fibers but while deriving we will assume that there is no shear stress and later on we will apply the, this theory for outer fibers only this is the theory of simple bending